I think I read the book before I read the scripts because I heard about the show and then yeah, read the read the book and was just sort of uh, somebody had warned me not to read it on a plane. Uh, and so I didn't read it on a plane. <laughs> and uh, I was just really bowled over by it. It was so scary, but also so like quiet. And I liked how sort of intimate all the stories were and um, these people choosing the most difficult path you could possibly choose after this world ending event, which is to be a nomadic, theater troupe like it just seems so unbelievably hard and you have none of the small comforts that people have been able to eke out for themselves like access to regular crops or water um and yeah i just thought the people that would choose to do that were kind of fascinating um and that really intrigued me well, I, yeah, I, I did see it coming, not the pandemic, but they had already started shooting. Um, and then I was supposed to come back and, and start shooting in May when, uh, when they, when they went on hiatus. And I remember like all of us did at the beginning of the pandemic, getting notices being like, well, we might have to push by two weeks or we're going to close the offices for like about three weeks, but we'll be back up. And it all just sounded so insane. Like, no, you're not. Why? <laughs> We're not going to be back in two weeks. Um, so yeah, it all felt very surreal. And then I can't believe that we made it because wow. Well, I mean, in most ways, um, it is infinitely more catastrophic in the series than it is in um, our real lived experience, but it also ends at a point. I mean, we're still living through our pandemic. It's just like, maybe is petering out, but also maybe spiking. I feel like we've all absorbed so much data over the last two years that there's this sort of overload where it's like, where are we now? Is it okay or is it not okay? I don't know. I mean, it's really confusing and ambiguous. And I think the nice thing about the show is fine, it's worse, but then it's done. And then it shows you this like incredibly verdant, um, sort of full of, of like art and life and music and danger and stuff. But you know, this, this full civilization after the fact that like life goes on and not just survival, but like people thrive and create and fall in love and have babies. and just life does go on in a in a pretty beautiful way. So I think it's strangely comforting to find it's worse, but at least it ends. <laughs> I really liked her combination of um, like survivor and actor and that both were kind of in conversation with each other at all times. Um, something Patrick, the writer and creator, and I would speak about is how making movies and TV or whatever you're throwing yourself into can feel kind of life and death sometimes, <laughs> even though it's definitely not. And nobody in your life would agree with you when you're in it. It feels like the stakes are that high. And I like that she's really living with those stakes in her life, that she is this pretty vicious killer when she needs to be to survive or to protect. And she's also a very skilled actor and that both of those things exist with the same level of intensity. Um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. What was ch really challenging? I there There isn't one scene that really um, jumps out. The show is such a, a web of stories and people and overlapping characters and experiences that I think we were all together really trying to navigate this enormous thing we were trying to tell together at all times. So there isn't a like, oh, the day I had to jump down the well or anything. It was all like making the show was the most challenging thing. And then, uh, Things that make me laugh. I love working with um, with Danny Zavato and uh, and Philippine and um, 
doing a lot of this, the sort of outdoor year 20 traveling symphony stuff, really beautiful locations. And when we were doing the, the Shakespeare scenes, these like just gorgeous night shoots that were all lit by candlelight. And um, there were lots of very vivid, beautiful images that I'll remember for a long time.